A new documentary reveals the story behind the attempt to kill Russia's opposition leader, Alexei Navalny, and the investigation that followed. Mr Navalny, who's currently serving nine years in a Russian jail, was poisoned with the nerve agent Novichok in 2020, and he set out to prove that the Kremlin was behind it. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to the director of the Navalny documentary, Daniel Rohr. Come on, poisoned? I don't believe it. Like, he's back. This is Alexei. Putin's supposed to be not so stupid to use this Novichok. His wording, his explosive, his intonation. If you want to kill someone, just shoot him. You witnessed some amazing moments, including the moment where Navalny makes a prank call and finds out how he was poisoned. Talk us through that. It was extraordinary. I remember that morning well. I always will. I had no expectations for what we would achieve that morning. The conceit was that Alexei and Navalny would call up, as you, you mentioned, the members of his kill team and try and prank them and chat with them over the phone and get information from them. But of course, spies whose jobs it, job it is to go around the world and poison people don't just pick up the phone and blab about what they've been doing, except they do. And we were filming this conversation that was entirely in Russian. I don't speak a word of Russian, but you didn't have to speak a word of Russian to understand that what was happening was extraordinary. And you're dealing with someone who, as well as being a politician, is a media personality, knows how to craft their image. What were the challenges in, in working with a subject like that? Did you worry about retaining that editorial control? The first instance of meeting Alexei and his staff, uh, we made it very clear that if they wanted to do this, if they wanted to work on a film project with us, creative control, final cut, had to be vested with the filmmakers. I explained to Alexei that there's a conductor of uh, a symphony and there's a captain of a ship and there's a document, there's a director of a documentary. He was quite conscious throughout the film, we hear him saying that this could be broadcast after he dies. That's something that, that runs through his mind throughout. Many people will question why he went to Russia in the first place. Why did he go back? Only one person can answer that, and that's Alexei Navalny. But if he were here right now, what I think he might offer, what he might suggest, is that he wouldn't personally be comfortable as the leader of the Russian opposition, asking people, encouraging people to take to the streets, to put themselves at risk, to put themselves in danger, protesting against this authoritarian regime whilst he is comfortably sitting in Berlin or London or Vilnius or, or Vienna in the West. And he understood that if he wanted to be the moral leader of his nation, he had to lead by example, and he wanted his courage to be an example to all Russians, to not be afraid. And obviously your film has taken on a new urgency. Well, there's no question that Alexei Navalny's life is in peril. We have to remember that he is in the custody of the same organization, the same regime, the same man who tried to murder him in August of 2020. And what we understand and what we hope is that his life, his chances of surviving this ordeal, of surviving his prison sentence is increased if we are collectively able to keep his name in the global consciousness. Navalny's own past views have been controversial. He was known to be an ultranationalist. He appeared at a far right rally. Do you think he's evolved from those views given you spent so much time with him? What's your insight into that? Well, without question, I wouldn't say that uh, that that Navalny was ever uh, a far right nationalist. That that's not my understanding. My understanding from talking to him, and and he articulates this in the film, is that he he his position is that in order to um, take down this regime, in order to install democracy and remove Vladimir Putin and his tyrannical, corrupt cronies from power, he needs to build a broad based coalition to defeat this regime. And to him, the political decision that he's made is that he has to um, flirt and engage with unsavory characters who I would not be comfortable talking to or engaging with at all. That's a political calculation that Navalny made. And as a filmmaker, I can simultaneously uh, disagree with that position, but understand what motivates it and, and where it's coming from. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, Daniel. Thank you so much for having me.